Hello everyone, so I know that recently there was a problem with Flutter and the Android SDK emulator in which uh, when you start the application for the first time it works well but then uh, when you restart the application multiple times uh, it doesn't load anymore and it gives an error. So this uh, GitHub thread actually discussed that problem and I found a solution for it. Now uh, my application doesn't crash anymore and it works on every restart uh, perfectly well. So thank God I found it. I'm going to share it with you now. What you will need to do is you need to go to the Android Studio. Let's start the Android Studio. All right, and then we will go to the Device Manager. Usually, we will go to Tools and then Device Manager, which is here. And then I'm going to create virtual device. And then I usually use Pixel 3. And then I will do clone device. Let me call this Android 34 frame because I will use Android 34, which is upside down cake. All right, uh, that's what is that's what is called. So these are the settings uh, for the RAM. I use 3072. Has hardware buttons, yes. Has hardware keyboard, yes. And these are all my settings. All right. So finish. And then I'm going to click on next. Here, you will have to use the tab which says x86 images. And you will see there are three versions of uh, Android 34. That's the one I'm using. So you will see that there is a version called... Uh, let me expand this a little bit. There is a version called Google API ATD, and there, there is AOSP ATD, and there is the default Android system image. This is the one you have to use. Uh, this is the one that I use, and the one that uh, the problem doesn't happen with anymore. So, upside down cake 34, Android 14, default Android system image. And then I'm going to go next. Let me call this Android 34. Now, when I go here, in terms of the settings, this is how everything will look like. In terms of the graphics, you will have to use hardware. Okay, so I'm using hardware for the graphics. Uh, in terms of the device frame, this is up to you, but I personally prefer to disable it. Okay, now let's go to the advanced settings. In the advanced settings, this is all the settings, you will keep everything like that. Graphics hardware, as we said. But here, uh, what I do, that's what I do, is I set the RAM to 3072 and I set the internal storage to 3072 and the heap to 10224. Okay, that's those are my settings. I'm just sharing my settings it's the same way I'm using them, and these are the settings that led to me not having the problem. I believe it has to do with graphics being set to hardware and using the um, the Android, the standard Android image. Uh, but yeah, I'm just sharing the exact same settings and it's up to you what you want to do. And then you're going to click finish. That's it. So this Android emulator now, I'm using, I usually use uh, Visual Studio Code. So uh, if you run this Android emulator now and try it with Flutter, it should not crash anymore. Uh, every restart, it will be fine. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope this fixes your issue and God bless you all.